going on, guys? My name's Justin Colburn. This is Mr. Branson. We're headed down to do some herping. Of course, uh, everyone who knows me uh, knows that I'm a big snake lover. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time. Keeping reptiles and amphibians, scorpions, tarantulas, all that kind of stuff. And uh, for me, the best, uh, the best thing is to actually go out and see this stuff in the wild. Last year, me and Mr. Branson uh, headed to Georgian Bay and we, uh, we found the elusive Eastern Massasauga Rattler. Now we're headed to Pennsylvania, uh, the wilds of Pennsylvania. We're going to be uh, finding timber rattlesnakes, uh, maybe some black rat snakes, Eastern milk snakes. Uh, the big one is the timber rattler though. We got some uh, snake equipment. We have absolutely no safety equipment whatsoever. But that's how we roll. We're gonna make a stop in uh, Rochester for some pints. Some pints, uh, naturally. Uh, maybe we'll stop at Gander Mountain. We'll uh, see if they have any uh, snake traps to protect your legs. Uh, try to avoid getting bitten. No promises. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. snake down under here, this rock. Uh, it's getting warmer out, so they might be coming out. Uh, unfortunately, we were unable to get her, but we're gonna keep searching in the area. Guys, we got a timber rattlesnake right here sunning itself on the road. This is Crotalus hordis. This is one of two rattlesnake species found in the northeast. Uh, very, very common in this area. Uh, as you can see, it uh, hasn't started rattling yet. <coughs> oh, tail's coming up now. So my guess is this snake is going to try and get away. It wants nothing to do with me. Rattling a little bit. We'll just try and bring it up over here. Get closer to luck. So this is a venomous snake. It's a rattlesnake. Not sure what sex it is. Uh, kind of looks like in between uh, there's two morphs in the area. There's a, a much darker morph and then there's a yellow morph. 
kind of looks a little bit yellowish, but uh, it's almost an in-between. This is prime habitat. We got some uh, concrete platform over here. Uh, Wes, what would that be? It's a uh, concrete platform. That makes sense. Uh, probably uh, was just sunning itself there, crossing the road, going into some of this brush over here. Very, very common along here. There's pipelines all around here. This is, uh, this is where you find them. Rattling. That's the warning. Leave me alone. The snake hasn't struck yet. The snake would probably strike if I stepped on it though, which does happen occasionally. And that's how bites happen. The nearest hospital is at least a couple uh, hours away. Success. Well, there's a large snake in there somewhere. You can hear it, you can't see it, and I have no idea where Coburn is right now. So, uh, as soon as I find him, he can come over and deal with it. Hold on guys, Mr. Branson, uh, heard some rattlers here on this concrete slab. Perfect habitat. Look at this, timber rattlesnake. This is probably a hibernaculum area. This is where they come to hibernate. And he's just cruising along. Doesn't feel alarmed, doesn't feel threatened. Awesome footage. What's going on guys? Justin Coburn here, Mr. Branson. We got uh, another timber rattler right here on this path we were walking along. Uh, perfectly curled up, just soaking up some rays, mid-afternoon sun. And uh, she's starting to get a little spooked. Looks like she's gonna make a run for it. We're just gonna try and get some photos. There you guys go, 2015 timber rattlesnake hunt in the Pennsylvania wilds. I had a blast, what a success it was. What did you think, Mr. Branson? Woo! That's right, check us out on YouTube. More videos to come, stay tuned guys. Mr. Branson, yes. what is this place? That's 